Yeah. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Gary Brummer from Action Coach Business Mastery in Durban, South Africa. We're having a chat this morning to uh, Cody Kutsia. Cody is our third YES certified graduate uh, in South Africa, and he had just recently uh, reached that accolade. He's also sitting with Brent, his dad. Uh, Brent is a business owner, and I'm sure Brent will tell us just now what his plans are for Cody, um, his son, uh, in his business. But Cody, perhaps just introduce us um, to yourself. Uh, who are you? Wh when did you finish school? Your age? What are your business aspirations and plans going forward? Okay, perfect. Thanks, Gary. <clears throat> so my name is Cody Kutsia. Um, I'm 23 years old now. I went to Westville Boys High School, finished that in 2016. Uh, then I did my undergraduate at Varsity College. Um, I'm currently doing my postgrad at Varsity College as well in management. And I'm hoping next year to, to go into my master's somewhere overseas, either in the UK, Australia, or, um, or, one, or America. Uh, those are my current top options. Great, Cody. Thanks. And um, the, the YES program, how did you hear about that? So I actually heard about that through through you, Gary. Um, I was actually watching my brother. He got onto it first, uh, and he was he was learning a couple of steps from from Brad Sugars, and I was quite interested in that. And I thought it would be very beneficial for me to use some of the knowledge gained through that into my current job position and also in my academics. Uh, and then I. Uh, I think I, you contacted me or I contacted you and, and you got me started. And yeah, I've been hooked for the, for the next 12 weeks after that. <laughs> great. Well, well, congratulations and well done for making that decision. I think it was a great move on your part. And in terms of the, the theoretical studies you're doing um, at uh, Varsity College, how did you find the difference between what you were learning there and what you were learning on the YES program? So the YES program kind of provided me with a more practical side to business. I think Brad gave some very good examples um, and he also broke down concepts quite, quite um, well, quite concisely, whereas the theoretical side is more long-winded um, and harder to pay your full attention to. I think the short, concise videos offered in the Brad Sugars program, the YES program, gave me a little bit more you know, time to concentrate and absorb some of the concepts. Okay, great. Um, and Dad, Brent, uh, you're a business owner and you've got uh, Cody and your other son, Caden, uh, who's also doing the YES program. Um, what, are, what are your plans as a business owner with, with young sons uh, coming into the world of work? Uh, are there plans for them to move into the business or take over the business? And do you think this YES program is a great, a good start? Well, well, obviously, um, it's, it's nice to be able to hand over the reins to family members um, as opposed to outsiders. Um, you know, there's obviously the, a, a, a trust there. And um, as you get older, um, you kind of have found other interests to do besides business, Gary. So it would be certainly be first prize for me to be able to hand over the reins of um, the company to to Cody and Caden and um, the the even though I haven't done the Brad Sugars program um, certainly with both my kids dragging me and forcing me to sit and watch every now and then a, a video I, I, I found him very dynamic and like Cody was saying very concise and 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 the fact that the videos are, are fairly short even in our busy schedule, it, it's well designed in that you have time to um, just to drop everything for 10 minutes or 15 minutes and, and, and get a quick um, injection of bread sugars and then you back off and doing the rest of, of the stuff that you do during the day. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that answers both your questions. Yeah, great, great, thanks. Uh, so Cody, what, what was the experience like? So there was a bit of a discipline element to it to be consistent in the uh, learnings and um, and the content and the, the duration of the videos and uh, the assignment work that you had to do on a weekly basis. How was that experience? Um, at the start, it was a little bit challenging to get into the routine, but 
after the first two weeks or so, I was, I was setting a day to part, getting it into my schedule, like linking it with my calendar. And I found that it was quite easy. It's only like five to 10 minutes um, every, every day. So I found that it was quite easy to get into, into a routine of, of doing it. I just set a time aside either early morning or late afternoon after I finish studying and, and finish working. And yeah, it was just quite, quite nice to slot that in. And then also the assignments were quite, quite interesting. Uh, I had to make a lot of application from my garden refuse company and also from my current position at CPA. And it was nice to kind of link the practical and the theoretical side from the course and from the work uh, life and academic life. No, no, good. That, that, that's good to hear. Uh, did you have any successes with the program in terms of learnings and applications? You kind of alluded to that now. now? Um, successes. Uh, yeah, I did. So well, obviously, once I finished the program, I, I've used it in my CV and, and it's kind of helped me in that sense with my applications to universities. And also, I think it'll help with... Um, applications to other job job opportunities um, and aside from that it's also kind of helped me structure my other work life my other academic life in terms of trying to break everything down into small chunks and use that um, to kind of absorb the information a little bit better and and remember it a little bit better in the long run mm -hmm. okay great thanks um, was there any particular area of the program that, that was your favorite? Uh, any particular topic, subject that you really enjoyed? I think overall, just a lot of the different concepts linked or tied in with, um, with what I'm doing in Palm Gardens. And a lot of the stuff to do with budgeting was quite interesting to me. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly which, I think it was under a budgeting section. It kind of helped me break down um, my expenses within the business and try and minimize those in order to maximize profit, um, which was, yeah. And also essentially the whole concept was to take action. And that's kind of, kind of been my motto now since, since completing the course to just get, get into take action. No time like the present. Um, yeah. Okay, great. So what are your next steps, Cody? So as I mentioned before, I'm trying to get into a master's overseas. I'll probably be doing that online um, over a year and a half to two years. Um, I'm trying to get something internationally accredited so that I can use that when going, when, when I want to travel or if I, if I want to travel in the future. Um, I think it'll be, it'll be good to have an internationally accredited degree or master's. Okay, great. And I think like the business... So I think the, the youth program will definitely add to add to my CV and add to my resume and whatnot in getting me into those um, those programs overseas. Okay, great. All right, uh, and why would you think it's important for people to utilize and support the Yes program? Your brother is one of them, for example. <laughs> um, I think it just it really does assist with time management not only in the yes program with but in your day-to-day -day life and in your work experience academic experience time is is of the essence time is always so hard to find and I think it kind of breaks down uh, like I said before it kind of breaks down everything and gives you some structure to your day and and you can use that little concept from the yes program throughout your life um, I think I think that's just one one of the lessons there Okay. Even from my point of view, Gary, yeah. the, you know, I've been in business since I probably was about 16 when I started my first businesses. I've had probably 20 in, in all. Um, and a lot of the stuff that I've learned through trial and error over the years, it was quite nice to have um, the reassurance that um, I did some, some things I did correctly. You know, even though it was, I wasn't taught that I, I, it was more instinctive, but to have the like affirmation from, from Brad's videos that, oh, okay, this is how you're supposed to do it. And, and, and then I recalled, okay, I was 
16 or 18 or whatever and and mm. and and i did that you know and i never really knew if it was the right way to go or the wrong way to go so for for me even though i'm at towards the end of my career it was quite useful for me to to get affirmation that i did make some correct steps along the way and the ones um, that didn't work out for me then it was also nice to see well that's why it didn't work out for me and that particular business didn't work out you know so it was quite beneficial for me yeah great thanks brent so what you're saying is um it would have been lovely to have had the yes program when you were 16 it would have been of huge benefit to you in, in those days what a pity it wasn't around then yeah certainly uh, yeah great. good feedback thanks so much all right guys i think that's uh that's uh pretty much wrapping it up uh, anything else uh, you'd like to say uh, cody to anybody else who's listening and any other youngsters out there who may be considering doing the yes program um yes thank you i, I would like to say that this, the centralization of the YES program around entrepreneurship and, and the focus around that is quite, was quite useful for me because I feel like if you want to get out of the daily, daily routine with the boss and that whole situation where it's like nine to five and it gets a bit like um, mundane, this program would kind of help you kind of broaden your horizons in a sense and open your own business, give you that drive to open your own business, give you the steps you need, the skills you need to, to, to grow that business and, and make a profitable business and then sell that business even and buy another business. And it also helps with investments and, and whatnot. So all of those little, little lessons you don't learn in school and in varsity, it gives you those life lessons that you can use throughout your career um, in business. Great. Thank you. So, so thank you very much for your time, guys. And well done again, Cody, for doing that. It was a great decision on your part. And I'm glad you got all that benefit out of that. And even your dad sitting next to you got some benefit out of uh, what you did there. So thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks so much, Gary. Thanks, Gary.